Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. About dang on time that our show came back on Dynasty Season 1, ep episode number 14. You already know what this episode is called. And there we are. Y'all, we have reached our goal of 1,000 subscribers. I'm at 1,001. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's next stop is 1,500. Let's do it nonstop train to the unknown. And I'm ready for it. Blessings. Thank you all. This episode gave me everything I wanted besides the mama to appear. We got two enemies and two missing moms. We now have Ted's dad that's upset. Jeff Kobe's dad is ticked off and just ruining cheesecake. Perfectly fine cheesecake getting dropped on the floor. So disrespectful. Missing moms, the Kobe mama, where she at? We don't know where Alexis. We still don't know where Alexis is. Okay, the big point is... Oh, shoot. Hold on. Akiku, my homegirl from Sydney, Australia. What's up, homegirl? Our show is back. Yay! The main thing is Ted. Ted is alive. What? Shocking. Shocking, I know. I know. I feel the same way. That man survived a building, window, cascading, dramatic, soap opera exit of a fall, a suicidal act, and the florist not only did they let us assume what happened last episode which was weeks ago they brought it right back up floors just walking with their flowers like la 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 ah hilarious the floor saw the splatter Sammy joe he was vulnerable he said he didn't have papers and he he went mia and i said dang they're really going there um i love fallon because she's the smartest of the carrington clan and I just love her character. She's fashionable, she's smart, she's witty. You gotta love her. Daddy Kobe. Daddy Kobe, no Warbucks, he's home, and he's angry. And at the same time, he thinks his son is a little boy. No, he's a mogul, and I feel like eventually they will go head to head, they'll go toe to toe, and it will be an epic battle. And I don't know if Jeff will really side with his father, because his father's so dark and so upset and so hateful. I don't know if Kobe is really that. Steven, Steven lied to the police in the report and he he had to fake it till he make it. Will it ruin his campaign? I feel like Sammy Joe will ruin the campaign. I feel like Sammy Joe and they'll get caught up in some TMZ scandal picture. They're going to be like, oh, but your, your boo Ted is on life support, struggling to make it, trying to remember what happened. And you're out here uh, hugged up with Sammy Joe. Watch some, watch some pictures come out of nowhere. Fallon baiting cute Kobe with the cell phone and the emails. It's smart. It's genius. And I love how they also brought to us uh, little sister Kohane and her genius and their empowering uh, young women throughout this series. Hey, you could come work for me one day. And she's like, nah, you're going to work for me. That was cute. That was cool. I love it. Like Blake messing up the acronyms and everything. You know, he's talking about uh, that that was funny, but at the same time, I'm like, man, I am all here for this E-M-E-R-G-E-N-C-Y room. Yes. Meanwhile, somebody else is messing up the letters. Dang on Crystal. You got a letter R sitting on those beautiful white flowers, and you know dang on well. Blake started with a B, but Blake get caught up in some uh-huh, uh-huh. Like I said, I love the two new enemies being the our bad guys, you know. Claudia's gone, so she's not necessarily our bad, angry person, but I'm sure she'll pop back up. Ted's dad, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Jeff's dad, he's a, he's a firecracker. When will the moms appear? And when they do appear, it's going to go down because a lot of stuff is going to come up front and be face-to-face -face with some truths that the dads aren't telling the whole story to, regardless. Steven went too far with the syringe. He went too far with the syringe because it was nasty, it was gross, but it's like, what do you do? It's your life, it's your campaign, it's your future. You, what are, are you, you can throw, it's a, it's, a, it's a craps game, you know? You can just throw the dice down and try to figure it out, and that's what he did to retrieve Sammy Joe's cross earring, and I'm like, dang, all of that for an earring. Wow. Uh, dinner attire. You know how we do it on this show. We like to talk about the fashion, the beautiful things that uh, life presents in this show, be it cars, be it fashion, be it the surroundings, the vacation, the exterior design, whatever it is, that's what we talk about. So the fashion for me, I think it was beautiful in the dinner, the dinner table. Uh, Jeff Kobe had, was that Gucci? I think it was the Gucci. Uh, the bumblebees along his neck and his dress shirt. It was off the chain, all black, unbuttoned for Cohane. Mike, you look really nice. Um, 
the red dress and the gold necklace on little on sister girl and you know i'm all here for her natural hair all the time yes honey yes i'm fallon with the updo the red lip and that throwback vintage dynasty feeling of the feathery ugly but classy dress i'm here for it i thought it was real cool like blake is basically playing his family pimping out his family making them do his dirty work he is the puppet master hey wife you're going to go get as close to him as possible. Daughter, you're going to go close, get as close to Kobe, Jeff Kobe, as possible. Wow. His, his, uh, he has a master plan. Let's do it. Here's how I feel about Daddy Kobe. He said he's taking over. I feel like you will never take over in a Jeff Kobe slot because he'd rather put you back behind bars before he sees what he's built, his own dynasty, to crumble or him not attain the goal that he's reaching. Okay? So, Daddy, I see going back to jail in your future. Your son's going to play you straight up like that. That's going to cause a rift between him and his sister. Quote me. Dirty daughter. He called he said he called he called Blake a bastard, I do believe, and said that Fallon was a dirty daughter that was ice cold, that was disrespectful. But however, that scene gave me life because Fallon showed these dark winged diamond earrings, and I'm like, Yes, my angel, yes, our angel, yes, young thing, give it to us. 323, March 23rd, Alexis returns. I'm excited for that. I'm very excited for that. But we, we, we only been waiting since like November when the show came out. Come on, CW. Y'all play too much. Y'all take it too long. You made us wait all 16 episodes to get to this point. I had a, oh, Steven cut off. He, he cut off, um, Sammy Joe. He said exactly what I wanted him to say. Hey, this could mess up my campaign. He's focused and you can't be mad at him because he was just storing up half of Manhattan. I'm just saying, remember, granddaddy had to come with his old prejudice, racist self. So if this if this wedding happens, you know granddaddy coming back. You know Alexis is coming back. Is that what episode 16 will be? Drop a comment. Um, when mother arrives, when Alexis or Mama Kobe arrives, it's going to be some beef. It's going to be a nasty ribeye, T-bone, sirloin, ground beef situation. It's going, it's going to go down. Um, Crystal with the cheating, kissing with Rick. I feel like if Blake didn't ask her, she would not have told him. And I feel like Blake will never, ever forget that no matter what. That was this episode, y'all. I got to get to another show, so I'm keeping it real short, sweet, trying to hit y'all bang, bang, bang to the point. And I love the show. CW, y'all did it again. But I'm mad at y'all for taking so long with all these breaks. We had like nine breaks this season. We've also been waiting for our original people to pop up on us. We love, I love the reboot. Don't get me wrong. I love this show. I love Dallas and and I just want y'all to hurry up and show Alexis so she can give us that vintage, okay? Until the next time, peace, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank y'all.